Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make this type of background and text effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let's jump right into it. So we're basically starting off easy with our color palette, the colors that we want to use and the secondary font and text that we're gonna use. And uh, we'll go on our background layer. And what I like to do is firstly add a solid color and I'll select the same gray of my text. Next, we're gonna add a new blank layer and then grab our brush tool. Make sure we're set on a soft brush tool and uh, resize it. I can do that by holding control option and then just click and drag left or right to make it smaller or bigger and up and down to make it softer or harder. I'll press I on my keyboard, or you can find the eyedropper right over here to sample my first color. And then I'll just paint a little orange and then keep going with the rest. Every time I'll just add a new layer. Every time I change color, I'll add a new layer, red, dark blue, and light blue. Now that we have all of our colors, I usually select all the background, right click and convert to smart object. This way we can just stack filters one on top of the other and everything will still remain fully editable. And if we wanted to change the colors or go back to having all those separate layers, all you have to do is just double click here and it'll take you to this window where you can just move things around Then just command save and go back to the previous file and it'll be updated in real time. What I usually do now is just add some Gaussian blur just to blend in those colors even better. And we're gonna crank it up quite a bit. I'll go with 150, but you can obviously, you can obviously choose the amount of blur that fits your artwork best. I really like this little corner here that you can kind of see and kind of not see the text. Obviously our text is still fully editable as well. Next, we can add our main text. We're gonna write gradient and I'll make sure my text is white, resize it. I'm gonna center it. And then to get that cool effect you see in the thumbnail, just change the blending mode from normal to difference. It'll basically make your text the opposite colors it finds in the background. So if I move this around, as you can see, it just changes colors, which is pretty nice. What I finally like to do is add another solid color, set it to black, go to filter, noise, add noise, convert to smart object, add a bunch of noise, and then change the blending mode of this to screen. This way you get this really nice grainy effect. Let's hide our color palette and we're done. Pretty cool, right? I hope you guys loved this tutorial. Feel free to comment if you have any tutorial requests or suggestions. And if you want to go and check out my Instagram, I'm still posting daily designs and shorter versions of these tutorials. Thanks so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.